In the quest to unveil the secrets of the universe, humanity embarked on a journey that would defy the boundaries of science and technology. In the heart of the Swiss Alps, buried beneath the Earth's surface, lies a colossal scientific wonder that challenges the very fabric of reality itself. But what is the purpose of this gargantuan scientific apparatus? Could it unlock the mysteries of our existence? And what monumental discoveries have emerged from its subterranean corridors? Join us as we unveil the enigma behind the Large Hadron Collider, an instrument of knowledge, a playground for physicists, and perhaps a key to understanding the universe's most elusive truths. Number 15. The Higgs Boson Revelation The initial breakthroughs achieved through the Large Hadron Collider constitute a pivotal moment in scientific exploration. Among the remarkable findings was the detection of the Higgs boson, a fundamental particle of great significance in the realm of physics. This particle's conception traces back to British scientist Peter Higgs in 1968, during a period of intense inquiry into the origin of particle mass. Delving into the intricacies of atomic composition, it was revealed that particles derive their mass from the energy contained within subatomic components like quarks and gluons. However, a perplexing question remained. How do bosons, governing weak interactions and atomic decay, acquire mass? Peter Higgs proposed an audacious concept. As particles navigate through space, they encounter resistance from a ubiquitous enigma known as the Higgs field, an analogy akin to walking in shallow water where each step requires increasing effort. This theory garnered support from fellow scientists, humorously dubbing both the field and the particle the God particle. Eventually, the Higgs boson attained an integral role in the foundational standard model of physics. Thus, orchestrating its manifestation through experimentation became a badge of honor for physicists. The LHC emerged as a pioneering accelerator, capable of colliding protons with formidable force to manipulate the Higgs field and generate ripples of the divine particle. On July 4, 2012, two CERN teams unveiled their groundbreaking achievement, the identification of the Higgs boson. Astonishingly weighty, roughly 130 times the mass of protons, the Higgs boson implies an extraordinarily potent Higgs field even in a stable state, comparable to remaining connected to the internet without an active router. Contrary to its name's playful connotation, the Higgs field carries profound ramifications, its existence discloses that the so-called void of the universe is not truly vacant, but pulsates with background energy. This insight, while enlightening, introduces an unsettling revelation. Experiments within the LHC could potentially influence the very fabric of the cosmos. Number 14. Earth's magnetic field rupture sparks celestial spectacle. In a significant announcement, Scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research have revealed a surprising and puzzling discovery. During the third phase of operations at the Large Hadron Collider, a major event occurred, leaving the scientific community perplexed. On July 7th, a noticeable break appeared in Earth's magnetic field, defying expectations by lasting for an impressive 14 hours. This unique event allowed powerful solar winds to enter, causing a series of large geomagnetic disturbances. The result was a stunning display of auroras, the captivating light phenomena seen in the polar skies. Even devoted fans of science fiction let their minds wander, contemplating the possibility of otherworldly beings similar to the formidable antagonist in Stranger Things passing through this cosmic opening. While this idea remains in the realm of imagination, the resulting upheaval in Earth's magnetic field led to a captivating display of colorful lights in the sky known as auroras. The origin of this event can be traced to a rare happening called a co-rotating interaction region, which comes from the Sun. These large formations of charged particles form in the space around the Sun, and when fast and slow solar winds collide, they create these regions that move towards Earth. Inside these areas, there are shock waves and strong magnetic fields that create intense space weather. The end result is the beautiful auroras we see at night. In this particular event, the interaction occurred on July 7th, causing a disturbance in Earth's magnetic field known as G1. 
Experts, however, reassure us that these unusual events are actually a natural defense mechanism against solar storms. Typically ephemeral, recent events have demonstrated that these fissures can endure for extended durations. Encouragingly, this particular breach did not incur notable disruptions, such as radio interference or power fluctuations. Instead, denizens of Canada and the United States were treated to an astonishing panorama of the Northern Lights. Intriguingly, scientists have unveiled that the Sun is embarking upon an unexpectedly early and active phase in its solar cycle. This augurs well for the future, as the likelihood of encountering these awe-inspiring auroras heightens over the forthcoming three years. Number 13. World's Smartest Kid Just Revealed CERN Just Opened a Portal to Another Dimension Max Laughlin's groundbreaking concept concerning the Large Hadron Collider has ignited a global dialogue among experts. The precocious young mind, celebrated for his captivating insights into the intricacies of the universe and human adaptation, has transcended mere facts to deliver thought-provoking warnings. Displaying remarkable ingenuity, Laughlin, who also crafted a free energy machine at the tender age of 13, unveiled a vision of transformative change for humanity. His videos elaborating on his convictions and the implications of CERN's portal experiments have attracted considerable attention. Central to his perspective is the notion that the fabric of our reality is at stake due to experiments performed by the Large Hadron Collider, an intricate machine utilized to simulate the Big Bang by fragmenting subatomic particles. Laughlin suggests that these experiments may have disrupted our universe, propelling humanity into a parallel reality that mirrors our own. Laughlin's observations are rooted in history, as the European Organization for Nuclear Research Scientists have undertaken similar tests before. His assertion that the experiments conducted by this colossal machine could have ruptured the universe's foundation, plunging us into parallel realities, is both audacious and captivating. Expanding on this hypothesis, Laughlin introduces the idea of an infinite multitude of parallel universes within our multiverse, where each reality spirals into countless other parallel iterations. He eloquently states, We had an original timeline, but immediately the anomaly occurred during the experiment. We were infinitely catapulted into an infinite number of parallel universes. This portrayal of boundless universes juxtaposing and intersecting with our own is our current reality, challenging conventional perceptions. The scientific community, including the European Organization for Nuclear Research, has not remained idle in the face of these assertions. They have indeed detected anomalies in the space-time continuum, prompting them to recalibrate their understanding of reality. Laughlin's framework dovetails with reports of CERN's pursuit of interconnectivity through portals, drawing parallels to his Mandela Effect theory. By linking these ideas, Laughlin raises the possibility of adjacent universes, a concept supported by his interpretation of the particle accelerator's impact on our reality. The Large Hadron Collider, designed to validate particle physics predictions, has achieved significant milestones since its inception in 2008. While Laughlin's perspectives offer a provocative narrative, it's vital to recognize that the Collider's primary purpose is in-depth scientific exploration. As the Large Hadron Collider continues its quest, its potential to unveil the elusive nature of dark matter remains tantalizing. While Laughlin's assertions are riveting, they remain a subject of debate and require rigorous scrutiny. Number 12. The LHC's Energy Quest and Environmental Responsibility the largest particle physics laboratory globally typically incurs substantial energy expenses. It's actively striving to curtail its energy usage. The energy shortage resulting from Russia's conflict in Ukraine isn't solely pressuring households and businesses across the continent. It's also impacting scientific research facilities, such as CERN. CERN's studies are pivotal for future advancements, encompassing computing and medicine. However, their pursuits necessitate substantial power, with an annual electricity consumption averaging 1.3 terawatt-hours, akin to a town of 230,000 residents. Approximately half of this power is allocated to the Large Hadron Collider. CERN employs particle accelerators to target challenging tumors and address severe cancer forms. During the frigid winter months when energy demand peaks, 
the LHC historically halts its operations to relieve network stress. Yet amidst the French government's call for energy frugality, CERN is intensifying efforts to reduce energy usage this and next year. Additionally, CERN is poised to promptly halt its particle accelerators if energy supplies in France or Europe become strained. Several of CERN's physicists are conducting ongoing experiments directly influenced by the lab's energy-saving endeavors. Plans for experiments during the early closure period will be postponed, affecting around two weeks of data collection. Despite this, given the substantial data accumulation projected until 2025, the impact is deemed relatively minor. Number 11. Rare Proton Collisions The LHC serves as an exceptional tool to explore the complex makeup of our universe. Designed to study the basic building blocks of reality, the LHC makes use of a complex process. It smashes protons together at high speeds to provide crucial insights into how the universe works. These collisions, which are carefully recorded and studied, help us understand the secrets of nature. At the core of this effort are protons, chosen for their manageability, even though they themselves are not the smallest particles. They're made up of quarks and gluons, tiny bits held together by a strong force. Visualizing protons as multi-part bags with quarks, gluons, and heavier particles, the LHC investigates what happens when these bags collide. Upon impact, these bags break apart, forming new particles like protons, pions, and others. Occasionally, collisions feature the direct interaction of just two quarks or gluons, channeling energy into quarks, gluons, or heavier particles. This symphony of collisions, analyzed meticulously by physicists, unveils the fundamental laws of nature at the tiniest scales. Accumulating copious data, the LHC experiments construct vast repositories of rare interactions, hoping to amass enough evidence to substantiate groundbreaking discoveries. Navigating the challenges posed by colossal data volumes, the LHC deploys a trigger system. Comprising an array of advanced computer processors, this system discerns select collisions, merely a few hundred per second for permanent recording. This targeted approach culminates in the creation of one of the world's most extensive computer databases, even as it elegantly copes with overwhelming data. While proposed particles might be weighty and decay into clusters of quarks and leptons with exceptional energy signatures, these discoveries are not anticipated in the imminent Run 3 of the LHC. Instead, these initial trials may offer intriguing statistical indications and innovative event depictions. The forthcoming Run 4 of the high-luminosity LHC holds greater promise, poised to substantiate these signals and propel scientific understanding to unprecedented heights. Number 10. Unprecedented Variety of Pentaquarks In the year 2017, the Large Hadron Collider ushered us into a realm of captivating revelations, harnessing the troves of data harvested during the preceding year. This groundbreaking achievement revolved around the enigmatic Higgs boson, a pivotal particle imbuing mass onto its counterparts. Scientists embarked on an intricate exploration of the Higgs boson, delving deeper into its intricate dynamics and nuances. Simultaneously, they refined the precision of diverse outcomes gleaned from the amassed data. In recent chronicles, the LHC's scientific endeavors bore fruit in the form of 59 novel particles christened hadrons. Emerging through meticulous analyses of data gleaned during the inaugural dual runs of the collider, one remarkable revelation graced this narrative, an unprecedented variety of pentaquarks, an amalgamation of quarks following specific patterns. As temporal currents flow, particle physics quests may confront the principle of diminishing returns. Proactively addressing this phenomenon, scientists charted a course of augmentation for the LHC. Thus birthed the high-luminosity Large Hadron Collider in 2018, conceived to amplify the machine's luminosity. This augmentation, a symphony of technological prowess, heightens the likelihood of rare processes revelation while sharpening the precision of measurements. The ongoing third run of the LHC marks an intermediate phase, poised to culminate in 2025. Within the annals of LHC history, the first run crowned us with the Higgs boson, the second one immersed in the study of its intricate decay modes. The current escapade aspires to double the trove of accumulated data. Subsequently, 
a preparatory epoch extending into 2029 shall segue into the resurgence of the fully augmented LHC, instating collisions occurring at a tenfold accelerated tempo. The forthcoming fourth run, extending its reign until 2042, shall amass colossal data, a tapestry nearly tenfold in magnitude compared to the third run's closure. Number 9. CERN's Collider vs. Cosmic Telescopes Explore beyond the renowned Large Hadron Collider, the centerpiece of the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Venturing into visionary realms, CERN is formulating plans for an upcoming circular collider poised to become the apex of particle collision technology. Embarking on an exhilarating journey through the preliminary design phase, this monumental undertaking could reshape our comprehension of the cosmos. The prospective Future Circular Collider, an engineering marvel estimated to cost between 9 and 21 billion euros, holds the promise of unlocking new frontiers of knowledge. However, a spirited debate ensues, as theoretical physicist Sabine Hosenfelder proposes a compelling alternative narrative. Hosenfelder advocates allocating resources to audacious undertakings, like situating a cutting-edge radio telescope on the far side of the moon or launching an orbiting gravitational wave detector, asserting that the potential for groundbreaking discoveries might be greater. Number 8. The Looming Black Hole Risk of the LHC Why might the LHC pose a risk of generating black holes that could potentially jeopardize Earth? Originally designed by the European Organization for Nuclear Research to advance particle physics, the LHC was conceived not as a black hole generator. Initially, it confirmed the standard model of particle physics, notably revealing quarks within protons through experiments at the Stanford Linear Accelerator in 1968. These findings paved the way for the LHC's creation, a monumental undertaking costing $9 billion. Spanning a 27-kilometer tunnel, nine times larger than its Stanford predecessor, the LHC houses around 10,000 superconducting magnets, maintaining ultra-low temperatures. By accelerating proton beams near light speed and inducing collisions with energy levels of 7 tera electron volts minus 140 times the Stanford accelerator's power, the LHC enables exploration at scales previously unattainable. Remarkably, this energy is dwarfed by the effort needed to lift a simple cup of coffee. However, as construction of the LHC commenced near Geneva in 1988, concerns emerged about the consequences of these collisions. Esteemed astrophysicist Martin Rees raised the possibility of quantum black hole formation arising not from mass accumulation, but from energy concentration. Although Stephen Hawking countered Reese by asserting that LHC collision energy fell trillions of times below quantum black hole thresholds, debate persisted. While the standard particle physics model backs Hawking, Reese highlighted alternative theories proposing higher energy thresholds that could trigger catastrophic events. The intricate interplay of theoretical physics, cutting-edge engineering, and complex energies makes the LHC's potential implications both a captivating and contentious subject. Prominent media outlets recently captured attention with an intriguing narrative involving a sudden emergence of a quantum black hole in close proximity to Geneva. The event purportedly unfolded with astonishing rapidity, with Europe seemingly consumed within mere moments. Shortly thereafter, a conventional black hole took Earth's place, albeit diminutive, measuring a mere three centimeters in diameter. Contrary to this captivating speculation, prevailing scientific theory posits that a quantum black hole lacks the gravitational prowess to engulf matter. Instead, it instantaneously dissipates, unleashing a formidable surge of Hawking radiation. Number 7. The Curious Case of Strange Matter Experiments conducted within the LHC hold the potential to profoundly impact Earth and distant celestial bodies. Astronomers recently discovered an enigmatic neutron star positioned at a considerable distance, challenging existing scientific understanding. The leading hypothesis attributes this anomaly to a unique type of star. Notably, researchers at CERN are intrigued by the possibility that under specific circumstances, quarks could coalesce to form an intriguing substance known as strange matter. Characterized by remarkable density and minimal energy, this substance prompts curiosity due to its potential implications. 
However, Martin Rees, a prominent physicist, raises a cautionary flag regarding strange matter's properties. Unlike conventional matter, it's suggested that strange matter may give rise to strange lets, minute fragments of quark composition capable of propagating. A dire consequence could be the transformation of surrounding matter into a similarly dense configuration, potentially altering Earth's dimensions dramatically. Given historical parallels with the initial skepticism towards strange stars, Reese's apprehensions warrant thoughtful consideration. Notably, speculative accounts even postulate a prior global catastrophe stemming from LHC activities, emphasizing the need for vigilance. Thus, maintaining an open-minded perspective remains paramount when evaluating these prospects, safeguarding against unforeseen outcomes. Number 6. Recreating the Big Bang in the Large Hadron Collider The Large Hadron Collider experiments have a captivating objective, to replicate the primal conditions of the Big Bang right here on our planet. This pursuit is driven by physicists' desire to emulate the awe-inspiring explosion that birthed our universe. In the initial microseconds following the Big Bang, the cosmos brimmed with an extraordinary state known as quark-gluon plasma, a superheated substance even more scorching than the core of our sun. Fascinatingly, scientists embarked on a quest to rekindle this remarkable state within the Large Hadron Collider, focusing particularly on the ALICE experiment. Within this colossal scientific apparatus, they propelled massive lead atom nuclei to nearly light speed, orchestrating a collision of staggering force. Commencing in November 2010, these lead collision endeavors bore fruit by May of the subsequent year, when the ALICE team triumphantly proclaimed the triumphant formation of quark-gluon plasma. Amidst potential hazards, the synthesis of this fleeting plasma yielded only transient energy bursts from select atoms. Regrettably, the prerequisites to sustain the quark-gluon plasma were evanescent, causing rapid expansion and cooling, resulting in particle formation. As such, the prospect of instigating another Big Bang on Earth remains non-existent. Yet the collisions achieved within the LHC bear the promise of unveiling other extraordinary characteristics from the early universe, which could potentially wield disruptive effects at the atomic stratum. This pursuit delves beyond the sheer magnitude of the Big Bang explosion, delving into the profound secrets of the universe's dawn. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. A striking photo showed a dangerous event in the famous LHC tunnels. The picture displayed energetic sparks in the big machine, worrying its creators. This strange sight worried scientists around the world. Ideas of danger quickly spread. The LHC, once seen as a way to learn about the universe, now seemed frightening. Time passed and many ideas appeared. Scientists like the young Max Laughlin thinks the LHC might have accidentally opened doors to other worlds. Others thought it could harm the universe itself. People whispered about possible disasters. The world waited nervously. Experts went into the LHC to find answers. They looked at data and did experiments to understand more and also know if it could change how we see the world. Do you think the LHC could be very dangerous and hurt humanity? Share your thoughts below. Number 5. The Astonishing Tale of Cosmic Inflation Cosmologists have introduced a captivating and specialized theory known only among their community that explores a possible follow-up to the significant event called the Big Bang. In the early phase, around a tiny fraction of a second after the cosmic expansion began, the universe existed at an incredibly small size, even smaller than protons and quarks. If this expansion had continued at its initial speed, the universe would have become incredibly dense and hot, unsuitable for life as we know it. Fortunately, a solution came in the form of cosmic inflation. Right after the Big Bang, the tiniest building blocks of matter underwent an extraordinary burst of expansion, transforming them from a minuscule size to that of an everyday coin. This transformation signifies the difference between a grapefruit and the entire observable universe we see today. The inflation event happened around a trillionth of a second after the cosmic beginning, giving essential momentum to the young universe and preventing it from collapsing due to gravity. Interestingly, we're still uncertain about what caused this cosmic inflation. One idea is the existence of a unique field containing a particle named the inflaton, which possibly triggered this grand expansion. The field is thought to have charged the inflaton particle with energy, 
setting off the universe's remarkable inflation. This is similar to the inflaton going down an exciting energy slide, leading to its breakdown and potentially creating the basic building blocks that formed a quark-gluon plasma. Clearly, the potential of re-energizing the inflaton holds profound significance. Theoretically, achieving this feat within the Large Hadron Collider could enable the manipulation of time and its potential resurrection. Such an accomplishment would undoubtedly merit the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physics. However, this effort could lead to dangerous outcomes. If we restart the inflaton, it might cause the universe's early moments to happen again, making inflation occur once more. This could also create huge underground areas near Geneva that might grow to cover Earth or even the whole solar system. Clearly, the risks of this inflation bomb are too great for our world to survive. Scientists at CERN say they can't bring back the inflaton field. The most we can expect from the Large Hadron Collider is a controlled increase in inflation at a lower energy level, causing space to expand less dramatically. We don't fully understand the inflaton field, and it's possible that its effects were so strong that they created a huge hole where Europe is now. Given all this, the idea of winning a Nobel Prize isn't as important as saving our planet. Additionally, some physicists are looking for other special particles that could be just as dangerous. Number 4. The day helium flooded the Large Hadron Collider. In the annals of scientific history, September 19, 2008, remains marked by a significant occurrence at the Large Hadron Collider. During a battery of tests, an unexpected event transpired. The simultaneous overheating of a hundred magnets triggered a consequential discharge of six metric tons of helium coolant. Remarkably, this mishap solely impacted the magnets, and the facility's personnel remained unscathed. Subsequently, protracted maintenance ensued, delaying the LHC's operational commencement by more than a year. While conjecture might arise concerning the incursion of a miniature black hole as the causal factor, this proposition falters given the absence of analogous incidents post the Collider's inauguration in 2010. Two plausible scenarios emerge the non-recurrence of such events or the deliberate concealment of quantum black hole formation by physicists, aimed at averting panic while upholding equipment integrity. Nonetheless, skepticism befalls these conspiracy theories, emphasizing the necessity of a comprehensive inquiry into LHC safety concerns. It is imperative to acknowledge that black holes represent merely a fraction of potential LHC outcomes, underscoring the complexity of its scientific pursuits. Number 3. Dark Matter Presently, the scientific community is fervently engaged in the pursuit of novel particles that hold potential links to the enigmatic realm of dark matter. These elusive entities, due to their genesis through feeble electromagnetic and weak interactions, prove challenging to pinpoint, as these interactions exhibit significantly lower rates when contrasted with their robust counterparts. To surmount this quandary, scholars are in quest of observable particles that respond in a recoiling or kinetic manner to the concealed emissions emitted by dark matter particles. This scientific endeavor finds its foundation in Newton's third law, which asserts the equanimity of action and reaction. Nevertheless, in numerous theoretical frameworks, the companions of dark matter constituents merely unleash trifling amounts of observable energy yielding minimalistic recoiling signals that frequently evade detection by experimental triggers. In the imminent Run-3 investigations, pivotal advancements in the domain of trigger systems are anticipated. These innovations are poised to widen the scope for detecting these nuanced signals, concurrently mitigating instances where recoiling particles are propelled into more discernible perspectives. In essence, the refined triggers will bolster the detector's prowess in identifying and capturing these intricate signals. The evolution of trigger systems stands to substantially augment the capabilities of ATLAS and CMS experiments in deciphering these signals. This, in turn, will furnish scientists with a richer corpus of data, substantially amplifying the prospects of unearthing the elusive nascent particles intertwined with dark matter. Number 2 the astonishing freezing depths of the LHC. The extraordinary operating conditions of the LHC continue to captivate our imagination. 
Among its remarkable features, the fact that the LHC operates at temperatures colder than the vacuum of outer space, plummeting to an astonishing minus 456.3 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 271.3 degrees Celsius, is truly awe-inspiring. This extreme cold is a necessity, achieved through the use of advanced superconducting magnets cooled by liquid helium. To ensure the efficient flow of electric current, and maintain the powerful magnetic fields that guide and focus the particle beams. This temperature regime highlights the lengths to which scientists and engineers push the boundaries of our understanding and technological prowess. As we contemplate the LHC's sub-zero environment, we are reminded of the pursuit of knowledge's relentless journey, venturing into realms both microscopic and cosmic, and the intricate interplay of science, innovation, and discovery that unfolds within these frigid confines. Number 1. The Transformative Upgrades The regular shutdowns and planned upgrades of the Large Hadron Collider exemplify the dedication of the scientific community to pushing the boundaries of knowledge. These periodic pauses are not merely routine maintenance, they signify the pursuit of excellence in particle physics. By addressing technical issues and enhancing capabilities, scientists at CERN are ensuring the LHC's continued role as a groundbreaking research tool. The forthcoming transformation into the high-luminosity LHC is especially exciting. This upgrade, designed to boost collision rates and generate an unprecedented amount of data, holds the promise of unlocking new realms of understanding about the fundamental nature of the universe. As the LHC evolves, so does our capacity to unravel the deepest mysteries of particle interactions. The journey of scientific discovery, as reflected in these strategic shutdowns and ambitious upgrades, serves as a testament to humanity's unending curiosity and our persistent pursuit of knowledge. Do you believe that the Large Hadron Collider is pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding? Share your opinion in the comments below.